Well, hello everybody. It's time to shave. It's Friday. I'm just going to do a normal old shave today. I'm going to take a break from the Willie box, uh, that gift box that Willie sent me. Uh, Willie from Nebraska. Uh, except I will be using the one brush I've been waiting to use because I just love the way it looks. It is so retro. It is so 70s. This right here. This was from, let's see, this is the Solar Flare 24 millimeter from Phoenix Shaving. So Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Just call them Phoenix Shaving for short. Here's what it looks like. There's the logo. I love this kind of harvest gold and the beige. and the, It's synthetic. It's got kind of a beige uh, knot on top. I don't call it a knot. I call it a brush, but there's a knot underneath. All right. So I took a shower, did my hair. I'm going to put some hot water on my face. And I'm going to lather up with that solar flare. Kind of like flared bell bottoms, maybe. I don't know. So what are we going to lather up with? Well, I got the old Heritage Hills Shave Company, John Paul Jones Shave Soap out. Handcrafted in the United States of America. That's right. So I'm going to... This is in my drawer. I saved this uh, when I got it a while back because it just smells so good. I can't remember if he said... Okay, bay rum, teak wood, cedar, bergamot, and patchouli. Just a hint of patchouli. So you don't you smell too much like a dirty hippie. I, I told you this before, my grandmother, or my grandfather, I think it was probably my grandmother, uh, who was one of the most straight-laced little old ladies from Maquoketa, Iowa, or wherever she's from. She's from Iowa. Uh, lived in Maquoketa. Uh, I've been to the Maquoketa Caves, have you? She was the most straight-laced tuna, half, half of a tuna fish sandwich. We called her Noni, by the way, just in, in, in memory of Noni and Grandpa Jack. That's what we called my grandparents, my, my one set of grandparents, she would eat, her big lunch was half a tuna fish sandwich and a little, and some carrot sticks and maybe a Lay's potato chip or two. Sweet lady, sweet lady used to drop my brother and I off at the movie theater and pick us up, take us to lunch at uh, Jim's Restaurant. You ever have a Jim's down here in Texas? Started in uh, San Antonio by the, I believe the Hus, Haslocker family, Haslocker family. Anyway, it's a venerable Greasy spoon diner type thing. It's been around since the 50s, I think. Most of them are gone now. They changed over to Champs sometime in the 80s. And they, we still got, I'm sure they still have them down in San Antonio where it got started. My mom actually went to school with that family, with the Jim's family. And uh, anyway, well, why was I talking about that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm so bad. Oh my gosh, I need to go back and look. Don't remind me. Okay, it just remind me how bad my memory is. I start on a whole thing. All right, so we're going to shave with a thorn today, which because is one of my favorite. Single edge. You've seen it, you know it, you love it. Uh, it's like 59 bucks, I think. It uh, uses, you know, regular old razor blades like this that you just snap in half. You, if you, you know, do it in the package so you don't cut yourself, you just snap it in two and then you just load a blade in and it's got little, it's got magnets. How do they work? And it holds it in place. So we're gonna shave with that today. And then finally, we're gonna do some bayonet butter because recently my uh, my face after I've shaved, and this isn't every time, and I don't know if it's one of the products I've been using, but I get a little bit itchy. It's not red or anything, but kind of like here, it gets a little bit itchy the day that I've shaved. So I need to look into that, but this stuff soothes so nicely. It's so thick and it works so well. All right, let's start shaving. So Monday we got a special, we got two, two videos, two, two, two videos in one on, uh, on Monday. The first one, the special one, is uh, something that I was sent that I can't talk about until then. And it'll be uh, premiering very early. And then the normal shaving video, for normal Monday shaving video will be at the normal time, sometime in the afternoon. So look forward to that, April 25th. Uh, the thing I was sent, like I said, I'm not going to talk about it but it will be of interest to two different communities. Yeah, that's all I'll say. All right. So we're shaving with half of a feather blade in here, which I actually had. So, you know, like I said, do it in the package because, you know, say, uh, razor blades come in those little paper envelope sleeves or whatever you want to call them. Oh, I got to watch out. Dang it. I nicked myself right here and I always forget and then I go right over it and it starts to bleed again. Shucks. Don't you hate that? Ah, be more mindful, young Padawan. This razor is your life. 
Now, see, it's bleeding. Dang it. Okay, I'm going to do this. <laughs> Pardon my uh, intrusion, won't you? What am I talking about? There we go, sorry. <laughs> Weekend coming up. I was I was getting really focused on my chin and wanted to make sure that it was still there. Got a baseball tournament this weekend. So the first game will be at 9 a.m. Ooh, but that's okay. We're up early anyway. We're an early rising family. We normally wake up 6 o'clock to 6.45 every day. Even on the weekends, you know, your body just wakes you up. The old body clock, but then you just go right to back. But as, as this video goes along, I'm just going to put more and more fingers in different spots where I've nicked myself. I don't know how I did this one, but we're just going to go with it as I uh, continue shaving. See, you can be impaired. I mean, I'm always slightly impaired. What I'm... I'm just kidding. I was making a self-deprecating joke. Did you know it's actually supposed to be self-depreciating? I heard that. I don't like it. Anyway. All right, there's the first pass. Let's rinse off. I'll tell you, this, if you're not hip to the Heritage Hill stuff, he makes some of the best shave soaps around. Now, I, I, you know, he's got tons of different scents. I've only tried a few of them, but they always lather beautifully. They're slick. This one is my favorite scent-wise, and that's why I keep it down in there. And I think he has two different sizes. It's kind of the small one. Uh, how many ounces in this one? I don't know. This was not an informative video. This was just, hey, let's shave. Okay, there's no size, but it's a small one. Oh, dang it. See, even though I have my whole hand in every nook and cranny of my dumb face, it's still bleeding. All right. Well, let's just go over it again with the groovy 70s Harvest Gold. You know, for this thing truly to be like a 70s throwback, it would have to have like this big thick rope that you could hang it like soap on a rope <laughs> in, your, in your shower. God, I almost couldn't remember the name or the word shower. Ah, I need to go eat lunch. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Nicked. Oh, I forgot to feel my face to see how I was doing. Uh, this isn't an inform informative one. This isn't ed this is purely educational. There we go, everybody. So Paul McCartney is coming to Fort Worth in May. And we were able to secure tickets. Thank you, Mama Sinatra. And I'll be taking, uh, be going with my mom and my boys up there to see him. So if you're going to go see Paul McCartney on May 17th in Fort Worth, I'll be there. Maybe I'll see you. I mean, maybe I will see you. I just won't know you, but maybe I'll see you. <laughs> Mm, this stuff smells so good. That combination of bay rum, teak wood, cedar, bergamot, and patchouli. Gorgeous smell. Great job. And thanks again for sending this to me all those however long ago back, a couple of years now. Really appreciate it. But we got, uh, how many more things do we have? One, two, three, four more razors from the Willy Box, the Nebraska. The Nebraska gentleman. My fellow colleague gentleman from Nebraska. But I'll tell you, let me talk about the feather one. This one that it keeps popping up in videos. <laughs> I don't know if you noticed in the last video, but I just in between I did this and then I brought this up and I used it and then I put it didn't say anything. One person noticed. Anyway. I've been trying this thing out. I got a blade in there right now. He sent me two different kinds of blades. This one has like a scalloped blade. I don't know if you can see the uh, edge of it over here. Anyway, it's got like scalloped edge. Serrated almost. So I haven't tried it very much, but I'm telling you, and this is a problem that I have, but I will admit that whenever I'm faced with something initially that um, I'm having a hard time with, I get very exasperated easily. And I just want to say, ah, this stupid, I'm just dumb. You know, that's not, that's no way to, 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 to take on life. It just, that's where my lack of patience comes in that I try to work hard on. I need to be more patient anyway. So I'm trying it. And I just don't like it. I mean, I didn't like shaving with a shave at to begin with. I didn't like shaving with a straight razor. Some people do. And that's great. It's just not for me because you know, it's all, it's this. It's the angle and I'm looking over here and I'm trying to, and then I can't see 
like my whole hand is blocking this. Now I know it's my technique. I need to know how to do it better. And then, you know, once you get the cheeks done, which are pretty easy, then you're getting over here and you're getting an, so I just don't want to think that much in the morning. But like I said, there's the second pass, by the way. I have nothing against any other style of shaving, except maybe cartridge razors, but even those, if it works for you, go for it. If you love shavettes, please use them. Shave away. If you like straight razors, same thing. It's just not for me, and I've tried them. And I think that's important. You know, it's kind of like that thing George Carlin said. You know, kids are like, I don't like lima beans. Like, well, how do you know you don't like them if you've never even tried them? It came to me in a dream. No, don't be one of those people that just reject something outright without trying it out. And also, don't be one of those people that just reject something outright having tried it and having maybe failed or found it difficult because those are the one things that are probably worth doing. Like playing guitar for me, holy cow, it's such an ordeal. When I was back in like college, I started to try to learn. And uh, I kept going. It took me a year, year and a half before I could finally go, hey, I'm actually playing something. So when it comes to straight razors and shavettes, I have given them tries. I have tried. I have used them. I have done full shaves. And I keep trying with this one. I keep trying. And maybe I'll have that breakthrough moment like I do with guitar. Maybe I will. But this style of shaving is just so quick and easy. I mean, there was a reason why they were invented. There was this, uh, this desire that people had that they didn't know they had, you know. And then when it came along, it must have been like a revelation. After all the, you know, honing and stropping and you got to have this and know how to do that. Get the, you know, to get this, to get, well, not this, to get this, to get this, the 1918 Gillette, one of the earliest ones they ever made. I mean, that must have been just a godsend, you know, like, whoa. So anyway, I'm just frustrated by it. I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to keep trying. I don't, I can't promise you I'm going to do a whole video with it because you know, I know myself and it's important to try to know yourself at least to know what makes you tick. And, uh, I think I used to have a better grasp on myself that sort of slipped in the past two years, you know, with everything going on in the world, but don't lose sight. Don't lose sight of yourself. You know, I'm still, I'm still hanging in there <laughs> and I hope you are too. Because I know, you know, things can get real difficult in life. I mean, just normal daily life. And I know a lot of people struggle with, uh, you know, depression and anxiety. And, you know, I have some of those same things, too. I really do. And it, it uh, you know, if it ever gets to a point where you feel like you need, you know, more help than you can, you know, give to yourself, then you seek it out. Seek it out. That's just my bit of dad advice. Because, you know, I really, I feel that way sometimes myself, you know. Especially the past two years, you know, being depressed, you know, became, uh, you know, more common, not just me, but everybody. That's why there's so many more, you know, incidences of uh, alcoholism, drug abuse and everything just to escape, you know. So just know that if you are going through something like that right now, right now, it doesn't matter, you know, when I recorded this, there are people that want to help and can help. All right. That's all I'll say. That's, that's it. That's it. Okay. Let's wash off and we'll get the problem areas. And hopefully those problem areas will be taken care of. You know what I mean? All right. Oh, so smooth, man. You know, people keep asking me all the time, like, you know, I want to get the leaf or the thorn. Is there a huge difference? I don't really notice a difference. This is the thorn. It's got a bigger blade gap, so it's slightly more aggressive. But if you're, like, on the fence about one or the other, or if you have the twig, I'm sorry, not the leaf, the twig, the twig and the thorn. If you have the twig and you're like, should I get the thorn? I wouldn't say you need to. They're so very similar. They're both very good. All right. Problem areas. I almost lathered up for a fourth time. I was having such a good time chatting with y'all. <laughs> you know, it really is, you know, getting to talk to y'all, even though you're listening, you're a passive audience. It really does help my mood. It does. There are some days I'm just like, oh, what am I going to shave with? What am I going to talk about? But then once I start doing it, you know, that's another huge thing. If I just allow myself to sit on the couch or sit in the house by myself instead of getting things done, then I start to feel really bad. And I feel so much better after I've gotten something done, even something simple, like dropping something off at the post office, which I'm terrible about. 
I let it sit there and I look at it for days. I'm like, oh, I gotta take the thing. Gosh dang. And it's the it's the sword of Damocles. You know, it's hanging over your head. It's the elephant in the room. It's just it's the undone thing. Do the thing. Do it. Do the good thing. Do the good thing. What a what, what a Mr. Philosopher today. Just just shave, will you? Goodness gracious. All right, that's the end of that one. God, such a good shave. Anyway, get yourself one of those. If you're interested, um, in single edge razors, if you're like an old pro, an old pro like I am with a, an old pro now, oh, he's an old pro now <laughs> with safety razors and you want to try something different that's maybe you hadn't thought of, because I wouldn't have thought of using one of those. I would have thought it was, you know, I don't know, be more dismissive, which is also something I shouldn't do. Um, I wouldn't have, you know, come across something that is just fantastic. Yeah. Try the supply razor too, if you like that. Different form factors, different feels. Different results sometimes, but all good stuff. All right, let's try the bayonet butter. Ooh, it's starting to get down. I need to check their website, see if they have other smells. Um, this one is Soothing Tea Tree, and it is. It's very soothing. And the combination of these two, just love it, love it. Smear it in your palms. It's kind of like pomade if you use, and then you warm it up and it gets very malleable and soft, and then you can smear it around like melting butter, you know? It does go on with a with a thickness though, that uh, you really have to get off your hands because it will coat your hands the way it's coating your face. But I found that, like I said earlier, when I was getting a little bit of irritation and itchiness, um, next time I do that, I need to remember what aftershave I use because that might be it. Because this one like really sits on your skin and is like a sheen on there. Uh, doesn't make you shiny or anything, but you know what I mean? It, it doesn't get absorbed in immediately. You can feel it on there and I can feel it on my hands. Kind of, you see how shiny it is? It's kind of like pomade, it really is. It's like um, Murray's, you know? Anywho, anyway, that's my thoughts today. You know, that was kind of a ramble, but um, look for the two videos. Uh, the early morning one will be coming out. People in the UK will just be waking up when that one uh, hits. So Australia, it'll probably be, you know, a week later. It already, it's already aired in Australia. I, I can't keep track of time zones in the globe. What do I look like? A, Time zone glow guy? Yeah. I don't know. The time time saving night. Good night, Irene. Have a great weekend, everybody. See you on Monday.